starting such a program is a miracle. Um, the chief architect was a Kodesh Baruch so it couldn't have happened any other way. We were hopeful that our all of our kids could grow up in a yeshiva environment, to learn what it takes to run a Jewish home, and to be a fully functioning member of the Jewish community. To be told that one of our children wouldn't be even given the information to have a fighting chance in that world is a frightening thought. And that's where Sinai came in and made that difference. Thinking back to the early 1980s, there really was no school for children with developmental disabilities. People used to hide children with developmental disabilities. And what Leo got was that all the kids were at Harasina, and all the kids in the Shamos were there. And just because some of the governors harder to them doesn't mean they're not entitled to get a Jewish education. Leo was a pioneer. Leo and I never imagined it would play out the way it did. He was Sinai's first president before we knew what Sinai was or what Sinai was going to be. It was one class, and we started with five kids. It, it grew so much, and it, it just exceeded our expectations on, on every level. He was a consummate a professional as a leader and didn't hesitate to, to take on this responsibility. I mean, and, and not knowing from the beginning what was involved. And for 21 years, Leo was either president or chairman of the board. Leo realized from day one that this could be a game changer in education. Very shortly before Leo passed away. He reminisced about Sinai, and he said to me that he felt that he had accomplished what he was put here to accomplish. And um, I found myself telling him that um, his legacy would be profound, that, that um, he would live on in the thousands, thousands of children who were helped by Sinai. So that's, that's a legacy for a person to look back after 120, or in Leo's case, after 73 years, short, to come before God, and if all he has to say is, look at, look at Sinai. I'm okay for him being able to stand before the Almighty having made his contribution to Sinai. He's, he's in a good place. Good evening. I am Rabbi Mark Karasik, Chairman of the Board of Sinai Schools. Leo was my dear friend and partner in leading Sinai for so many years. It is therefore especially meaningful for me to be able to announce tonight that we are formally naming the position of the Dean of Sinai Schools in Leo's memory. Henceforth, our Dean will be known as the Leo Brandstetter Zal Dean of Sinai Schools. Rabbi Rothbax, I know that you will carry this title with a sense of purpose and that you will bring honor to Leo's memory. As we have paid tribute to our founding president, I also want to express my gratitude to those who su succeeded Leo and me and undertook the awesome responsibility of the president of Sinai. David Shapiro and Moshe Weinberger, who are still key leaders on our executive committee, and Avi Vogel, who of course is our current president. Thank you, all of you, for everything that you do. And as we think back to the founding of Sinai, there are several individuals whom we are blessed to have here tonight 
and played instrumental roles in the birth of Sinai. Rabbi Benjamin Yudin, with his wife, Rabbi Tzinshevi Yudin, organized and held in their home a meeting of day school leaders that ultimately led to the creation of Sinai. <laughs> Rabbi Dr. Wallace Green, that's him on the screen with Leo. Rabbi Green was the principal of the Hebrew Youth Academy, or HYA, which today is named the Joseph Kushner Hebrew Academy, who swam against the tide over 40 years ago and created within his school the program that today is Sinai. Bruce Schulson, <laughs> Bruce Schulson, who was then the president of HYA and who courageously led his board to approve the creation of Sinai, despite all the financial and other unknown unknowns. <laughs> Bruce and Rabbi Green, I am so personally grateful to you for creating a school that was transformative for so many children with special needs including my own sons. To you and to the many lay leaders, presidents, and educators who followed you at HYA and JKA during Sinai's early years, Sinai and the Jewish community owe you a debt of gratitude. You have taught the world that inclusion of children with learning differences ultimately would be a huge benefit to the entire school community. It is very meaningful to us that in addition to welcoming us into your school, you have generously supported Sinai throughout our entire existence, and we are moved to have so many of you here with us tonight. So many individuals put their hearts and souls and their tireless efforts into building Sinai into what it is today. Too many people to mention. Please know that we are grateful to all of you. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our featured parent speaker this evening, Annie Miller. <laughs>